Hello, everyone, and welcome to the call. This is Certified Master Life Coach Tina Heisman, and you have joined my live weekly marriage coaching call. Before we get started today, I want to let you know that I have a free private Happy Wives community on Facebook where you can come to get inspiration for your marriage. Just go in the search bar on Facebook and search for The Happy Wives Community. Or you can just head on over to my website, tinaheisman.com, and there is a banner at the bottom of the front page. Also, I've created a free download called the Marriage Makeover Guide. It's a guide to help you make over your marriage into a happier, more joyful, and peaceful place. Just visit my website and you can download it for free. Okay, let's get started and dive in. The topic for today's call is what your husband desperately wants you to know. I'm going to share some information with you, and then at the end, I'll open up the line for some Q&A time. So there's actually quite a bit of things that your husband would love for you to know. There's probably a handful, like maybe five to ten things. But today, we're just going to talk about three of them. So we'll keep it short and sweet. Um, But the first one I wanted to tell you, the first one I'm going to share is possibly a little bit sensitive with some of us women. So I'm kind of going to spend the most time there. Then the other two will be just a little bit more brief. But without further ado, let's jump in and get to know what is going on inside the mind of our husband, right? That's what we really want to know. So number one, the first thing we're going to share, not necessarily the most important. In fact, it's not the most important, but it's a big one. The first thing that your husband wants you to know is that he wants you to take care of yourself for him, for you too, but also for him. And so I know I said this could be potentially sensitive to people. This is inspired, intended to inspire you, not hurt you or condemn you or make you feel bad. And this information is based on research that's conducted by a fantastic Christian author, Shanti Feldhahn. And she's published more information about this in her book, For Women Only. So this information I'm sharing with you right now is backed up by numbers. It's not just made up. So I want you to understand that this is really important to men. And in a survey, 47% of men said they want their wives to make an effort to take care of herself. That's a lot. It's almost half of men. So they want to see their wives make an effort to take care of herself. And then... 70% of men said that it emotionally bothers them if their wife doesn't bother to take care of herself. So these are some pretty big numbers here of men wanting their wives to take care of herself. So the question in my mind then is, well, what does that mean? What does it mean to take care of yourself? And what they said is it means taking care of yourself so that you look good and feel good. Your husband wants you to be a healthy weight for your body. He wants you to do your hair and makeup more than just once in a great while. That is, if you are a hair and makeup kind of a girl before you got married. If you are not, then he just wants you at your best the way you are. And that's really my point is your husband is not wishing that you were someone that you're not. He's wishing that you are the best version of you. You know, when you met him, you were probably, it's possible that you were closer to the best version of you. And it really means a lot to your husband to see that you care what you look like. And he likes it when you look good. Isn't that interesting to know? Like he actually likes it. And it makes sense, right? Because we know that men are very visual. It's a little bit different than how we are as women. Men are very visual. They like beauty. They're attracted to beautiful women. Your husband was attracted to you when you first met. And that sometimes, for some of us women, we let that go once we get married a little bit. And, you know, we're just so tired and so overwhelmed, and there's so much of a demand on us with our children. And, you know, maybe you're in a season right now where this just really is too hard to to take some time for yourself. You feel like it is. You know, we're all going to have seasons of that for sure. But just knowing for your husband that he loves it if you will make an effort to take care of yourself and look good for him. Because 
it, and I think that we should be inspired to do it knowing that it makes him feel happy. It makes him feel more connected to us. And it, it shows him that we care about him. You know, it shows him that, okay, we've learned a piece of information that our husbands really enjoy it when we look good. And so then it shows us that we care about him if we make the effort, you know. And there's a fun little part to it, too. Um, you know how men are pretty competitive, and when you take care of yourself and then you go out in public with your husband and you look good, then the other guys are, like, jealous because your husband has such a beautiful wife. And so that's just something fun for the guys on their side of it. And I just want to make sure you hear me that the bottom line is that your husband does love it when you look good, and it makes him feel good when you make the effort. And he's not asking you to be a perfect or a size zero. He's just asking or and saying that he would like you to be your best version of you. And I'm guessing – um, you could look back to maybe when you first met him, where you were at back then could possibly be different than where you are now. It you know, depends on you and your lifestyle and the things that you've gone through. Uh, I think another question that this begs to differ, or not to differ, but this asks, we might ask ourselves is, well, how do I know how my husband is currently feeling about me and how I look? And when they were asked this question, men said they're not comfortable being 100% truthful on this topic with their wife. It's very uncomfortable. It's very hard to talk about. But they, the advice they gave was, if you feel pretty happy about how you look, then they probably feel pretty happy about how you look. So, you know, in, in an interesting way, you're doing it for your husband, but you're also doing it for yourself because chances are, if you're in a place where you're not that happy with your body, you might be needing to make some changes to be a little bit healthier, you know? And so if you work on that for yourself, then it's also working on that for your husband. And so I know that this is a little bit of a sensitive topic and just know that it's meant to be informative to you that your husband really does care about how you look and he loves it when you look good and just be inspired by that and maybe um, try to sometimes do a little bit more if you have been in a phase of not doing a lot. So, you know, I know I personally do try to work on that. It's something in my mind where sometimes I'm tempted to come home from, you know, running around and everything and just immediately throw yoga pants on and get comfortable. But I try sometimes to wait a little bit, not every day. You know, some days, yes, I am just done and I am just taking off my makeup and putting on yoga pants. But it does, this information does help me remember to try to give that a little bit more time sometimes so that, that my husband can come home from work and see me looking nice, like, you know, like I would go out in public. like. And so, you know, I think when I had babies, you know, when our babies are first born and they're little and we have even more than one baby, we're not always able to do that you know you can even get in the shower some days right and so he's not you know they don't want anything unrealistic from us but they just want to know that we care about how we look and they care about how we look and I think that could be something really great for helping the connection in your marriage if you know this information and maybe try to work on it and so if this is uh, something you would like to talk more about with me let me know you know we can talk offline or if it's something that you know, it's a struggle for you. Otherwise, let's move on. So the second thing your husband definitely wants you to know is that he needs your admiration and appreciation. He needs you to be his biggest cheerleader. He needs to know that you believe in him. And he needs to know that you appreciate him for everything he does, for working, for cooking, for taking out the trash, for taking care of the kids, for fixing things around the house, for running errands, whatever it is. And if you listen to these calls that I do often, you'll know that I often encourage wives to tell their husbands how much they appreciate them. And even for the things that you expect him to do, like taking out the trash or going to work, and really especially going to work, some husbands said that they feel like their going to work is taken for granted. 
that we just expect them to do it and we take it for granted and we don't appreciate how hard they work. And I think that we do appreciate how hard our husbands work, but we probably forget to share our gratitude with them. And so that could be something that we can work on, ways that we can compliment him, show him appreciation, and you'll really watch his happiness soar. You can do so much toward building your husband up if you'll work on expressing this appreciation and knowing that he deeply needs it. It's something in how he's wired by God that he just is constantly seeking that appreciation from you. And so that's an easy way to deepen the connection with your husband and help your marriage have more peace and joy and fun. Because a happy husband helps make a happy wife. Am I right? (laughs) Okay. So finally today, the third thing, and this is truly the most important thing that your husband wants you to know more than anything else. Author Shanti Feldhahn interviewed hundreds of men for her book, For Women Only, that I have mentioned earlier on this call. And she asked them this question. What is the number one thing you wish your wife knew, but you feel you can't explain well? The answer was how much I love her. How much I love her. How sweet is that? Your husband loves you so so much. He really does. And you know, he knows that he's not great at showing it. He knows that he gets distracted by things. And in all fairness, it's not totally his fault. It's how guys are wired. You know, they don't multitask like we do. And they're not as wired for relationship as we are. And so they want you to know, though, that they, he loves you so much. Also in his defense, when you got married, your husband assumed that he won you. He kind of assumed that his courting job was over and that you understood that you were loved. And we know that's not the way it works on our end of the deal. And so we have to work together with them, you know, communicating to them that we need to hear that they love us. We need to hear that. That's something women need. And so... I think that's amazing that that's the number one thing that husbands said on that survey is that they love us so much. It's just hard for them to express and they get very distracted. So I want you to take that, take that positivity today, take that from this call and go into your world and the rest of your day just with this fullness of knowledge that your husband loves you so much and Maybe you could do something special for him today to show him that love or even have a conversation with him about the call that you heard today and just let him know that you understand it's hard for him to tell you that, but that you really love hearing it because we always want to state our authentic desire with our husband and just see how that can help you deepen your connection with your husband. I love these positive calls. I hope you do too. So let me know if you need any more help with this. This is the end of our formal part of our talk. In a moment, I will unmute the call so that you can ask your questions. I have created a free marriage makeover guide on my website to help you fix any challenges in your marriage. Just head on over to my website, tinaheisman.com, and you can download your copy for free. Don't forget to join the Happy Wives community on Facebook. I would love to see you there. And also, I offer one-on-one marriage coaching for women only. So stop by my website or email me if you would like to learn more and get your marriage on track and in better synchronicity and connectivity and happiness and joy. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining to me. I will talk to you next week.